Okay, I think I have it set up now. This guy's is activated charcoal. It comes kind of like, kind of like sugar. Well, it's not sticky, but um, kind of like sugar. And what I do, if I'm going to just um, use this to drink in water, I really don't grind it up. But if I'm putting it in my capsules and stuff, I'm going to make a powder out of it. And again, your body does not absorb this. I'm going to just do a little demo. This is my homemade Vaseline. And we all know Vaseline absorbs in the skin. Let me go ahead and rub this on my hands just so that you saw that I had some. Okay. Okay. Vaseline is absorbed. But if I were to take my finger, it's just like sand at the beach. Your body doesn't absorb it, but it will pass through your system. And as soon as it gets wet, this is what it does. It, it pulls those toxins to it, just like my finger where the activated charcoal. And these were the toxins. That's really how it works. And it will pass through your body this way. Um... I probably shouldn't have put that back in there since it's wet, but I did. Anyway, so um, to make the capsules, I simply grind this up into a powder. And um, the same capsules like I showed you yesterday for making the oregano oil, I use to do this. And I had got a capsule filling machine. It was a cheap one. And it works cheap, so you get what you pay for sometimes. So... Um, at this point I will figure out a different way to make this work from this point because I'm probably not going to use that and again remember I told you this does stain everything especially once you get it in its powder form but this is what the capsules look like right there same thing pop the top open and um, then you close it and I just keep them stored in a bottle and when I need them they are ready to go. I do take this in conjunction um, if my stomach's upset. I mean even if you get uh, bloating and say you had a meal of um, Boston baked beans there you go. We all know side effects okay you can take this for that as well too. Not only the bloating but the natural occurrence that comes when you eat beans and it will help with that too. Um, a lot of people use it to brush their teeth. You wouldn't want to do it if you have crowns or veneers or any of that. But that's why I'm saying to you guys, please go and, and research this and put this in your arsenal. You never know. If a, if a bug's coming at you, that's my first thing I'm going to turn to with a bug. I do use Colloidal Silver as well. I kind of use them in conjunction with each other. Um, this first then Colloidal Silver, and then I will wait for the Colloidal Silver to get all absorbed by my body about an hour, hour and a half, and then back, because it does help kick this stuff to the curb a lot faster, because I don't want to be sitting here feeling like that. I, I don't have time. I don't have time to be sick again. So, um, that's all I have for you, but please check it out, and like I said, when you're going... If you go to purchase it, you will be able to find it where it says it's made from coconut shells. Do not use the stuff that goes on your grill. No, no, no. Horrible. Not. It's not the same stuff. Do not scrape. Um, some people think you can burn toast and scrape that off and use that as a charcoal. Don't do that either. You really don't want to be eating burnt toast. It's just not good. Um... But you can find this easy enough. Amazon, eBay, probably a hundred other places I don't even know about. It's not very expensive and you can get a good size amount for not a lot of money. And if you go ahead when you get it and get some capsules made up, um, get some powderized, it really will be there and be ready for you instead of you struggling in the kitchen when you're like, you know, and trying to get all this done. It, I can't work that way. Maybe some people can. That is just not how I roll. 
but um, put this in your arsenal it's another good one along with the oregano activated charcoal colloidal silver you got some really heavy hitters here and again this one is not toxic but the only thing I'm going to say to you is like I said there are um, some adverse effects with some drugs like fentanyl oxycodone um, things like that the heavy hitters in the painkiller region and antidepressants stuff like that so if you're on any of those please go and check your drug and make sure it's not going to counter effect with anything that you happen to be taking and um, that's all I got for you y'all have a great day God bless you